boys, I'm Dr. Tuli, neurosurgeon, and I'm going to be talking about cervical spondylosis. So what exactly is cervical spondylosis? Cervic cervical spondylosis is a disease that affects middle-aged and older adults in whom the disc, di discs de uh, and vertebrae in the neck degenerate. Symptoms. Cervical spondylosis narrows the spinal canal in the neck, the passageway that the spinal cord runs through and compresses the spinal cord or spinal nerve roots causing malfunction. Symptoms may reflect either spinal cord compression or nerve root damage. If the spinal cord is compressed, the change in gait is usually the first sign. Uh, leg movements may become jerky, spastic, and walking becomes unsteady. The neck may be painful, especially when the nerve roots are affected. Weakness and loss of muscle in one or both arms may develop either before or after signs of spinal cord compression. So what's the diagnosis and treatment? Diagnosis and treatment. Alright, so when a doctor suspects cervical spondylosis, magnetical renaissance imaging MRI helps show where the spinal canal narrows, the degree of compression and the distribution of nerve roots that may be involved. Spinal cord malformation may from cervical spondylosis can improve or stabilize without treatment or it can progress. Initially the, the doctor may sur uh, suggest treatment with a soft neck collar, collar neck traction anti-inflammatory -inflama drugs, uh, mild analgesics, and muscle relaxants to provide relief. However, when the disorder progresses or when an MRI scan shows severe compression, surgery is generally needed to stop symptoms from progressing. As a rule, surgery does not reverse changes that have already occurred because some of the nerves and spinal cord are permanently damaged. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Tuli Nurser. Goodbye.